This is lesson 112, angles, triangles, and quadrilaterals. These two rays meet at a point called a vertex. This makes up an angle. This is a right angle. The sides form a square corner. Look. I can fit a square into this corner. It forms a shape like the letter L. But even if we turn this, this is still a right angle. No matter what position, I still have that square corner. Lines or line segments that intersect and form right angles are called perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect and form right angles. So, this is my right angle. If an angle is greater than a right angle, that angle is called obtuse. If the angle is less than a right angle, that angle is called acute. An angle is made up of two rays that have the same end point. End point B. We have ray BA and ray BC. When we name a ray, the middle letter always names the vertex. So, I can call this angle ABC, ABC, or CBA. And the middle letter in the name of my angle must always be the vertex. My vertex is B. A polygon is any two-dimensional shape formed with straight lines, triangles, quadrilaterals, pentagons, and hexagons are all examples of polygons. The name tells you how many sides the shape has. For example, a triangle has three sides and a quadrilateral has four sides. This is a triangle. How many right angles could you possibly include in a triangle? Only one. And that makes a right triangle. In a right triangle, two of our lines are perpendicular to each other. Line segment YX is perpendicular to line segment YZ. Let's look at some quadrilaterals. If you make a four-sided shape in which all sides are the same size and all angles are right angles, what would that shape be? It would be a square. If we were to take a square and pull the two opposite corners outward, are all the angles still right angles here? No. Are all the sides still the same length? Yes. What is this new shape? It is a rhombus. If we build a shape that uses two sides of one length and two of another length, we make a quadrilateral with pairs of opposite sides the same length and with four right angles. What is this shape? This is a rectangle. So if we take that rectangle and pull two opposite corners in opposite directions, we form this shape. 
Are the angles still right angles? No. Are the pairs of opposite sides still the same length? This side and this side are the same length. That's one pair. This side and this side are still the same length. That's the second pair. What is this new shape? It's a parallelogram. Let's think about trapezoids. Can you make a trapezoid with three right angles? The answer is no. This trapezoid has two right angles. The right angles are here and here. What are the properties of the trapezoid? They all have four sides. They only have one pair of parallel sides. So let's see this. This side and this side are parallel. These, uh, these two, they are not parallel. On this shape, these sides are not parallel. If these lines were to continue, the lines would eventually cross or intersect. But this line is parallel with this line. And on my final trapezoid, this pair of sides are not parallel. But this side is parallel with this side. A quadrilateral may have two right angles, and a quadrilateral may have two sides that are the same length. This pair of sides, they are not the same length, but this side is the same length as this side. The parallel sides on this trapezoid are not the same length, but this side and this side are the same length. These are the properties of trapezoids. Another interesting quadrilateral is the kite. A kite is a quadrilateral whose four sides are in two pairs of equal length. So let's see, this side and this side are the same length, that's one pair. This side and this side are the same length. That's the second pair. And the pairs of equal length sides are next to each other. The red sides are the same length. They are next to each other. The blue sides are the same length. They are next to each other. If all four sides of a kite are the same length, then the kite can also be called a rhombus. This lesson covers a lot of vocabulary, so let's review. Look at my shape. What are the possible names for this shape? Well, it is a polygon, and it is a quadrilateral, and I can call this quadrilateral a parallelogram. What are some of the properties of this shape? I notice that there are two pairs of parallel sides. There are no right angles. See you in class tomorrow.